Did you know that you probably have a larger annual salary than some of the richest CEOs in the world? I know you're calculating in your head right now, and it may not look like it, but trust me, it's true. Okay, to be fair, you'd have to be doing pretty well at the end of the year to beat some of them, while some others are actually out of reach. But no matter how much they earn, one thing is constant with all these CEOs, and this is the fact that they all have much more money than they're paid. The question now is how? And some of you have guessed correctly in the past that it's from the stocks that they own. So then, although common knowledge, in this video, I'll be describing their other sources of wealth that make them the richest CEOs beside their base salary. And at the same time, I'll be telling you how much they really earn as their salary, starting from the biggest to the smallest, just to give this video the delicious twist that it deserves. Welcome back to our channel. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from us. Number 4. Bernard Arnault Bernard Arnault is currently the third richest CEO in the world with a net worth around $132 billion. He has the largest salary among the top five richest CEOs in the world. As the chairman and chief executive officer of Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton SE, or LVMH for short, Mr. Arnault makes a good sum of money yearly. While the exact number is not disclosed, the lowest pay for LVMH executives is reported to be around $200,000, while the the highest is reported to be around $700,000 yearly. Now, I know I said some of you earn more than these billionaires, but like I also said, there are exceptions, so go easy in the comments section. Anyways, the obvious thing to note here is the gap of notes between his net worth and his annual salary, and that gap can be best explained by his 97.5% share in Christian Dior. Because Christian Dior in turn holds 41.2% of shares in LVMH, the world's largest luxury company. These shares are controlled by his principal investment firm, Group Arnault, which he founded in 1978. And besides Christian Dior, Group Arnault also helps Mr. Bernard control an 8.6% stake in Carrefour, the largest supermarket retailer in France and the second largest food distributor in the world, with a market cap of $12 billion. He also has control of 1.9% of luxury goods competitor Hermes, which has a market cap of $104 billion and was ranked by Forbes as the 33rd most valuable brand worldwide in 2019. Group Arnault also has up to 39 different investments in companies like Carthera, Backmarket, and ResearchGate. While they also have had exits from notable investments in companies like Spotify and Netflix, an investment that Mr. Arnault made way back in 1999. In addition to this, Mr. Arnault also owns several other businesses, including the top financial French newspaper, Les Echo. Number 3. Warren Buffett Mr. Arnault loves making financial newspapers, and Warren Buffett loves reading them. He is, after all, one of the greatest investors of all time. And the phrase, one of the, is just a phrase that people came up with so that we don't break our brains comprehending gargantuan stuff. He is the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, the largest conglomerate in the world, is worth $101 billion, and is the fifth richest CEO in the world. But on our list, he has the second highest salary among the five richest CEOs, with an annual salary of $100,000 that has remained the same for at least three decades now. His wealth however, is from Berkshire Hathaway, which owns over 60 different companies like Duracell and Dairy Queen and controls shares in some of the top companies worldwide. Mr. Buffett has a 16% ownership of Berkshire Hathaway stocks and over 30% of its voting power, while Berkshire Hathaway has a market cap of around $615 billion. Some of Berkshire Hathaway's top stocks are in big companies like Bank of America, Amazon, Coca-Cola, Kraft Heinz, American Express, Verizon, and its most valuable valuable Apple. The Oracle of Omaha is also busy splurging billions to get stocks in companies like Pfizer, AbbVie, Merck, and Bristol Myers Squibb at the second half of 2020 with an eye on the influence of these big pharma companies through the COVID vaccine before and after the pandemic. Okay, but it's important for you to know that Mr. Buffett did actually start with a base annual salary of $12,000 in 1954 and a net worth around $112,000 before saving up $174,000 by 1956, worth $1.6 million today. To start his very first partnership that has brought him to where he is today. Today, his net worth completely eclipses his first annual salary. Number 2. Jeff Bezos if Warren Buffett's net worth eclipses his salary, then Jeff Bezos' net worth is simply a black hole that will engulf his salary millions of times over. Okay, let's get some perspective. Jeff Bezos, being the CEO of Amazon, is currently the richest CEO in the world, with his wealth valued at 
$197 billion. Now, he's the CEO with the third highest salary on our list of five richest CEOs with an annual income of $80,000 from Amazon. Now, let's assume the average person has a wealth of $100,000. If that's true, then they would have to get paid $4 annually to have a salary to wealth percentage that is proportional to Jeff Bezos. So obviously, his Amazon salary is not the thing making him this rich. And you just have to look at Amazon's market cap of $1.7 trillion, with Bezos owning around 11% of the company's stock to see where the chunk of that wealth comes from. Amazon has several companies reeling in this ocean of cash, with the biggest fish being Amazon Web Services that brings in over 60% of the company's $22 billion operating income and has an elite list of clients, including the likes of Netflix, ESPN, Zoom, and probably you. Other Amazon ventures include Amazon Music, Audible, Amazon Studios, Amazon Publishing, Amazon Echo, and my personal favorite, Amazon Prime. But Jeff Bezos is not only changing the superhero genre with his subverted movie plots about tyrannical heroes in Amazon Prime, he has also had his eyes set on changing other industries over the years with the acquisition of companies like Twitch, Whole Foods, and IMDb giving him a stronghold in streaming services, groceries, and movie industries again and again. He also owns the spaceflight company Blue Origin and the top American newspaper The Washington Post, just like Bernard Arnault. <laughs> Number 1. Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg Yeah, you heard that right. Mr. Musk and Mr. Zuckerberg are tied at the top with the same annual salary, $1. Yes, this is not a comparison with the average person. Elon Musk, the second richest CEO with a net worth of $178 billion, and Mark Zuckerberg, the fourth richest CEO with a net worth of $113 billion, both earn $1 throughout the whole year. See, I told you you have a higher annual salary than most of these guys. And it's not just them. See, the reason for this is called a $1 salary that some people pledge to take rejecting any direct compensation. However, since they cannot appear as volunteer workers for legal reasons, they embark on the $1 salary routine. Notable billionaires and government officials who have worked for $1 salaries include Larry Ellison of Oracle, Larry Page and Sergey Brin of Google, Arnold Schwarzenegger as California Governor, Evan Spiegel of Snapchat, Donald Trump as President, Jack Dempsey of Twitter, David Filo of Yahoo, and many more. So, Tesla claims that Mr. Musk does not actually receive his compensation until the company reaches a certain valuation, while Facebook claims that Mr. Zuckerberg does not receive any bonus compensation whatsoever. Elon Musk owns 21% of Tesla's shares, with the company having a market cap of $712 billion, and he also owns 54% of shares in SpaceX, which is still a private company but valued at $74 billion by Forbes in February 2021. Meanwhile, Mark Zuckerberg has has a control of 15% of Facebook's shares, with the company having a market cap of $888 billion, with brands like WhatsApp, Messenger, Instagram, Oculus VR, Novi, and of course Facebook, all under the parent company. So although they both earn a single dollar all year for their labors at their companies, the shares they have in those companies keep them afloat. But next time you see Mr. Zuckerberg, you can brag to him about how you earn more than him each year right before his bodyguards whisk you away. But seriously, do you think it's time you started buying stocks? What do you think about the ridiculous salaries these billionaires settle for? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave us a like. You can check out the King Luxury channel for more videos all about luxury. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.